If I were to write twice a number, what does that mean? You say it with a question mark. Two times x. Two times x. Say it, yeah, say it with meaning. Right? It's 2x, right? All right, you guys seem to believe that. That's great. What if I say this? The sum of the sum of twice a number and three. What's the first math word you see? Sum. Okay. First math word I see is sum. Right, sum, and there's your and, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put my sum right here. It's addition. What comes before the word and? Twice, Twice a number. Sum. That's 2x. What comes after the word and? 3. 2x plus 3. Is everybody with me? Yep. It's just too easy. How could we ever make mistakes on this? How could we ever make mistakes on this? Twice the sum, twice the sum of a number and three. Same thing, right? It doesn't sound like you're very sure. Same thing. I and mean, if you were in Canada, you would have said, that's the same thing, eh? <laughs> Is it the same thing? Yes. The words are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Or does the order matter? What's the first math word you see here in this example? Twice the sum. The first math word I see is twice. Oh. Twice indicates to me that I'm doing two times something, right? That means I'm doubling something. What am I doubling? What comes immediately after the word twice? The sum. Now the sum is not just a number, is it? The sum is it's, it's, it's a group, something that's been done, right? So it would be two times the x plus three? It's going to be twice this guy right here. So that means two times the group. And how would you write the sum of a number in three? x plus three. Are these guys the same? No. If you had distributed this, you would have 2x plus 6, which is definitely not the same as that guy. So even though the words used were similar, the order was different. And of course, it makes a big difference in terms of what the algebraic expression is. What do you guys think about that? Tricky. That's a tricky one? Well, yeah. Or give you a tricky one? It's tricky. Here, you know it's tricky? The next way you're no. It's it's tricky to rock a rhyme right on time. That's tricky. <laughs> it's tricky. <laughs> five times the difference. Five times the difference of six. And four times some number. Five times the difference of six and four times some number. What's the first math word you see? Five times. Five times. I'm doing five times what? Five times a number or five times a group? Five times a group. What tells you it's a group? The difference. The difference. So it's five times the difference of this stuff. So that's going to give me five times a group, and how would you describe what's in the group? Six Difference? Six minus six over. Okay, now, look, just, to, just to remind you guys, the word difference is connected with the word and in this example. What comes before the word and? Six. Six, what comes after the word and? Four, four times, times some number. Four X. Four X. So I get four X. Uh, 
Thursday? No, this is not going to be on the test on Friday, but okay. Thursday, okay. most deaf. Something along these lines. But it's going to be incorporated into a word problem. We're going to see those in just a moment. So, I had a question. To make it easier to put into an equation, you want to look for that the action word. Is, is a, I like the, the action word? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Action word. Okay, like you know, the difference, the difference that sum, yeah. If anything before that, that, that's going to be the indicator of that. Outside? Yeah. That's outside the parentheses. So what's coming before the word difference tells you it may have an effect on it five times the difference. Whereas up here, the first word I see is your action word, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So all of this is your sum. This guy, he had stuff being done before the action happened, which was doubling that, right? And that the order, you're right, is, it's important. You either order backwards, it means something else. Speaking of order, um, let's try this one. Eighteen less than the sum of four and nine times the difference of twice a number and 64. 